Hello, this is book one, lesson nine of the Music Makers at the Keyboard. Let's go down our piano assignment of the week. I'm going to start right at the top of the warm up. Um, I like uh, the children to warm up every day in all three different keys that we've learned so far, and it'll look and sound like that. Do, re, mi, fa, so. that in the same in the left hand in the key of C do re mi fa so so fa mi re do do so do one chord so fa so five seven chord one chord five seven one then we're going to do that in the key of D do re mi fa so so fa mi re do do so that in the key of G. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, so, do, one chord, so, fa, so, five, seven chord, one, five, one. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, so, So that is what I'd like them to do every day before they start practicing. Then we've got a new song today, uh, one of my favorites. It's O to Joy. It's in, the, it's in a major key, and we're going to learn it in the key of D. O to Joy in, there we go, D major. Let's take it away. I'm going to play it. Here we go. pretty much the end product of this um, song. Obviously, we're going to go step by step. Um, we're going to um, do the four, the keyboard song process, the four parts of it. Let's do it together. I'm going to turn on my speaker here. Ode to Joy in D major position. So just one hand right now, right hand. Me, me, fa, so. Sing. Me, me, fa, so. Listen. Me, me, fa, so. Your turn. Me, me, fa, so. Listen. So, fa, me, re. Sing only. So, fa, me, re. So, fa, me, re. So for me, re. Do, do, re, me. Do, do, re, me. Do, do, re, me. Do, do, re, me. Me, re, re. Me, re, re. Me, re, re.
Okay, so please do this process at least once in the very beginning. Um, and some of the children um, will then right away start to link these patterns together and create the whole song, right? And so forth. To link them together, adding repeated notes. Good. Um, also, please, when they can play the melody, encourage them to add chords as they're able. Now, that really depends also on their ear and how they learn to refine their ears and are um, listening for what chord sounds good in, in, in what part of the song. Um, I'm going to leave that up to them. They have several um, options also how to add the chords, like they might be just playing it. And if they just want to go, that's totally fine too. As long as they're playing with two hands, that's already, with both hands, that's already a really big step to um, get used to that coordination. All right, next we're doing um, a mystery song. That's our new mystery, uh, our first mystery song, in fact, on page 22. And um, we had a lot of fun in class figuring out which song that is. And um, some of the children who have been with me um, for a couple of years prior to the keyword, they have seen already a written notation in songs. Um, and they um, might have remembered how, to, how, how we actually go by that. So, um, but it doesn't matter if your child just started here with me for the very first time. Um, the Blue Melody cards was a wonderful preparation for this. And so um, what, I, what we went by is we, we located where our resting tone Do is located in this particular example. And it's below the staff. It's also one more time given here. I have an older version, by the way, of the book. You might have a, a note right here. And then the children figured out how this first measure actually sounds in their ears. They see these three dots. And by knowing that this is Do, they figured this is me and so, and also um, reading left to right, they recognize that we're starting higher and going down. So we we just tracked every um single note here and sang so me do so so me do so do and also we right away um figured out the rhythm language that is your duple yellow cards the two four means we have two quarter beats in one measure and the rhythm language language for this one was do do day do day do day do, 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 day, do. So um, when we're playing this song, so I actually um, tried in class to cover your children's hands because what I like to encourage them is really to look at the notes while they're playing. Let's see if they can see both of it. Uh, well, you don't have to see my hands. So, but what I like you to do at home is um, encourage them to really look at the notes, and maybe you can be there with a pencil and say, "Okay, we're in key of D, and let's play note after note while you're looking at it." Mouse, mousey, in the house, see, hurry, hurry. Two, for the kitty in the house, he will be chasing you. And of course, they want to do the run, obviously. Um, so just please um, pay attention to that and encourage them. You know, this is a reading piece. I know you, are they going to actually read the music? Mm, they are... They know the song and play it by, by being familiar with the melody and somewhat following it. But we want to really encourage them um, to, to track this and that will internalize their ability to read the music. So um, 
yeah and always kind of encourage them to look at the piece and when they're playing mouse mossy mystery song say yeah that's a reading piece let's go to page 22 so that's kind of the whole idea of that all right now we're moving on to the next thing on our list that is um triple notation game so you have all received your triple green triple rhythm cards and um I'd like you to do the game on the CD with these. You'll have also a parent guide, page 28. Um, you have them all on there. So let's just quickly go through them. I think I went through all of them. Maybe I didn't quite cover um, card five and six, but this is how we are going to learn the triple rhythm. It's a different, I always talk about we're on a different planet now. We're in triple land. And in triple land, we, we, are go, we are going down the street in threes, like triplets, and their names are do, da, and d. Okay, so this triple rhythm would be um, do, da, di, do. And this one would be do, da, di, do, da, di. Do, di, do, di. Again, I want your children to track the notes. Always point to it. Do, do. Trust me, after a while, these cards look really um, bad <laughs> because they've been touched and handled so much, and that is good. This is do, ta, di, do. Remember, notice I'm holding my finger down for the long note. And here we have do, da, do, da. Okay? Kind of silly sounds, I have to admit. But rhythm language um, is so much more beneficial for your child to learn instead of counting, which we will do when they get a little bit older. But this is a duration-based rhythm language by Edwin Gordon, um, who did a lot of research about um, how to teach music to young children. So um, let's move on. We are... Um, at reviewing so please keep reviewing your duple notation games the yellow cards absolutely your melodic notation games as well and there is a writing assignment which I'm going to do right now on page 25 that is connected with the rhythm language obviously the triple rhythm. So what are they going to do is they're going to take out their um, green triple notation cards and they're going to copy four different patterns in there. Now one thing about copying, I'd like them to, for example, this one right here, if they do can you see? Do, da, di, do. This should go pretty efficiently. Do, da, di. Like three lines. I'm going to add the note heads. We do want to color them in. Very important. And then we're going to do one bar line on the top. Do, da, di, do. Don't forget the dot, very important. Now, some children who like to color and draw and spend lots of time coloring and drawing, they want to do this. Do, da, D. And then they're going to do this, okay? Now, that takes way too much time. I do not would like them to do that. Just say, let's draw a picture. Here are some crayons. So please do not spend extra time making this bar fat as it is on the printed version. The same with the um, single eighth note there, and it has a tail. That's plenty of a tail. Please don't have them spend time doing an elaborate tail here and coloring that in okay so 
we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it simple so they can get quickly um, through this writing assignment and um, have more time doing other things. Great. That's it for the writing assignment. Let's let me check um, how um, we're going to be just practicing playing, how having fun playing all sorts of repertoire that has been um, really um, gotten bigger here in our song basket. We have quite the repertoire. There's quite a lot happening in just, we've are less than nine. It seems longer because we uh, had some Christmas and online lessons, but um, we have quite the repertoire. So here, um, we'll pick out a card and I like them to play any, any song. And then you pick out your, um, your, a key card. I'm not sure where my D now went. Have them also figure out is it a minor or a major key and say that's what I'm going to play. All right. And every child, of course, is at their own developmental stage. Um, we always want to make sure we don't forget that, that some kids are able to play all songs with all chords on it and some are not. And we're not comparing. That's not what this class is about. Everybody will learn at their own pace and I encourage them every time I see them um, to keep working at it. So that's it for today. I'm looking forward to seeing the children next time.